Hey everyone, hope uh, y'all are doing great. Appreciate y'all tuning in. It's been a little while since I updated. Sounds like I always say that. I apologize. I promise. One day I'll get better. Uh, I just want to share some thoughts, I guess. I don't know. Hell, I might not even post this. Uh, I'm on the way to the park right now at the river. Just going there and find, going somewhere to go have a good walk. Um, got to do more than what I've been doing. Um, I'm down in the past three months between 50 and 60 pounds. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Um, it's really nothing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not diminishing the achievement. I'm proud of what I've lost. Um, had a big uh, eye opener big wake up this weekend this past weekend uh today's tuesday so you know friday saturday sunday i had you know big old eye opening weekend and uh, made me really realize i'm not pushing near as hard as i should be or as i could be and uh it also um made me realize i'm in worse shape than what i even thought even with the 50 60 pounds gone um, I went on a little just road trip for a couple days. Uh, we'd went to um, Tunica. I'd never been and uh, never been to a casino, never gambled and um, couldn't really afford to do it. But you now you go out there and you know, they make it where it's pretty cheap, uh, fairly cheap. You don't have to spend a lot of money, have a good time especially at the time they give you free food and free drinks and all that. Uh, for the most part, I had a great trip, but um, I saw myself through somebody else's eyes this weekend. And to make it worse, it's one of the few people on this planet whose view of me matters to me. I mean, wrong. I don't want anybody ever think bad of me. But, you know, you have those certain people to where, you know, you want them to think you don't you want them to see as few flaws as possible I guess you know you care what they think um, you know it's important to you to feel like you look good in their eyes and maybe that's a bit superficial shallow but if you say you don't have those people in your life either you're a liar or you don't know anybody you don't have anybody you care about and um you know, of course, this person's known me most of my life. They know how bad out of shape I am. They're one of the people who even pushed me to look into having the uh, weight loss surgery. One of the people who's, you know, really kind of pushes me to lose weight. But even they didn't realize how bad out of shape I am. And seeing that look on somebody's eyes when, you know, they're having to wait on you everywhere you go because, you know, you can't move as fast to begin with just because you're so damn heavy. Um, and then I do have the bum hip, which makes it worse. I'm not using it as an excuse. I don't really have a hip that needs replacing. Um, I don't know if they even updated about that. Of course, the doctor can't replace it until I lose over 300 pounds. <clears throat> but, um, you know, when you're sitting there and you're, to, you're out of breath just making it from the car to the door of the hotel or door of the casino or whatever you're out of breath just there and then you've got three times that amount of walking to do or you know when the person you're able to get up and walk around and you know there's all kinds of things to see and do and you just you hold them back and um, seeing that realization hit somebody else um, that was like I said, I know, I know my condition, but that made it just so much worse. Um, and seeing them trying to be really nice about it until it just really bothered them so much, you know, it, you know, they had to say something. And um, seeing somebody else hurt and mad because of how bad a shape you're in. That's, and that's what it was, you know, the person wasn't being mean. Um, 
there was realization in it, you know. I guess the realization that you're not living much of a life at 645 pounds, which I'm just under 600 now, but you know. And then you realize it more like, I really can't, I, you know. I mean, I'm not bedridden. I've never been that bad. You know, I've never been the 600 pound life person that's stuck in the bed and needs people to wait on them and bathe them, I, you know, all that. <clears throat> but realizing how close I was and realizing still how limited I am. Uh, my phone has a step meter on it. And, you know, I looked back on it this morning did about three, three and a half miles Friday. And that's an entire day. That's not a lot. I mean, outside of somebody who works at a desk, most people put in four to five miles a day total walking anyway. I put in three and a half miles and I was in physical pain the next day. Like I said, it wasn't even three and a half miles at once. I know I'm kind of rambling right now. It's just these thoughts are right here. And I apologize. I don't know if this glare's messing with you or not. Like I said, I might not even post this video. But um, it's time to double down, I guess. It's time to get more real. Um, three months, I should have lost 100, 150 pounds. 60 is not enough. I should have lost easily twice, if not three times, what I've lost. Um, and there is a lot of things I'm doing. There are a lot of things I'm doing better on. Portion control, I am doing great on. Um, I no longer just eat until I'm sick. Which, yeah, that's something that when you're fat and you got an eating disorder, you do. Um, I'm making a lot of better choices with what I eat, but not as good as I should be. I'm not being as strict as I am. And I've still let external forces affect me. Whether it's, okay, this has happened today, I'm not going to go to the gym or you know, this has happened today. I'm going to have this cheat meal twice this week instead of once. And um, it's really time to button down. So that's, that's where I'm at. Um, you know, when somebody is telling you they're worried you're not going to be alive in 10 years. And you see that look in their eyes and you know, it's... You know, it's fear, it's hurt. There's also some disgust in there, and that's 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 rough to see. Um, a couple of things I figured out I've been doing wrong is, like an idiot, you know, I count my food. I don't drink anything with calories in it. You know, dr drink mostly water if I have a soda, it's diet. But I'd pick back up drinking beer again. And, you know didn't even include that in my calculations. Don't know what I was thinking. And so I've got to limit that, you know. Might not cut it out completely, but it's not going to be a two, three, four times a week thing anymore. You know, it might be once or twice a month. Um, and then I just, you know, got to get really serious about my diet because it doesn't matter what you do working out. If you're eating crap, you're going to be crap. And also, while I'm off work, because of these medical issues, because of the hip, I should be taking more advantage of that time than I have been. You know, working out four or five times a week isn't enough. It's stupid. It For me. Hence, right now, I'm going somewhere where I can just walk. Because, you know, I need to do more than lift weights in the gym and swim in the pool. You know, I get, I'm going to physical therapy twice a week. I'm getting in the pool to do that. And, uh, you know, other times, three or four times a night in the gym. Three or four nights a week in the gym. But I need to be exercising seven days a week. And I know there's a lot of people that's like, no, don't go to extreme. Do moderation. You know, you can't get there fast. And, you know, I let those words from people be excuses. You know. They're like, well, you know, people's right. You know, you do need a break every once in a while. And the truth of the matter is I don't need a break. I, I use those breaks as excuses. And so, you know, they're, we're done with that. Um, 
you know, it, it may be something different every day. It may not be seven days a week in the gym. Maybe five days a week in the gym, but then at least seven days a week, I'm getting my fat ass up and walking somewhere. You know, I'm not just going to sit idle and be like, all right, I did my hour and a half, two hours in the gym. I don't have to do anything else today. And because that's how it shouldn't be. Or shouldn't how, I don't know. It's how, it shouldn't be that way. Anyway, again, I'm sorry. I know this is a long ramble. Um, it's just thoughts. Uh, but I did just now pull up at the river. Fixing to walk up this hill here. And um, my goal is to walk to a point to where I can't walk anymore. That way I've got to do at least twice that much. And even, uh, you know, yesterday somebody was, you know, somebody said, I said, I'm going to do that. I said, I'm going to walk into the road. And they're like, no, don't do that. And I'm like, why not? They're like, well, you know, what if it's too much? I won't have a choice. It can't be too much. And they're like, won't you just walk in the yard? And I'm like, because that makes it easy to quit. And I'm like, you don't understand. It's time to push. And this person's like, but it's not worth killing yourself. It's not worth the risk. And I know this person means good and they're trying to be supportive. But it's also, this is a person who thinks surgery is a good idea. Not the same person from the weekend. And I'm like, you understand me having surgery. There's a significant risk of death and you're okay with that. But you think the risk of me walking into the road and back is too much? You know, it's, it's the wrong kind of support. I don't know. I don't know my point here. Man, I just wanted to check in. So here's the deal. Um, down between 50 and 60 pounds. Um, my goal. What are we? What is this? May 8th. So June, July. August. August 8th. Sub 500. I'm about 595 right now. So August 8th. 495 that's the goal it's time for me to get out of my own way um, as always I appreciate y'all viewing appreciate the comments I, I appreciate the words of support that I get um, I might record a little bit more when I'm out walking here in a minute let y'all see me sucking air and breathing hard um, thanks for listening to this ramble y'all I'm sorry it was kind of incoherent and rambly but I appreciate it. Hope y'all have a great day. God bless. Roll Tide.